Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outer Worlds where we are finally in space. My dog is kind of yipping at me in the background. Well, he's not yipping at me. He's yipping at the upstairs. But, uh, where does this go? What does this do? Oh, edge wait, what? I don't want to go to the Edgewater landing pad. Oh, that's right. I am, I am floating above that planet. And now, the planet I was just at, which is... Oh no, am I at Groundbreaker now? Terra 2. Was where I was? Uh, the Halcy Halcyon's wealthiest elite live in its capital city, Byzantium, while the colony's laborers live in corporate owned townships along the frontier system. Tartarus is locked to me, and Olympias. Ol Olympias? It's fine, I could, I could talk words. What's this? What are you? Nobody knows? Okay. It's a... Uh... Oh, dang. The remains of Halcyon's first colony ship. Yes, I would like to go to the Groundbreaker. Oh! Oh! I thought that was my ship! Because there was a little... The ha! Okay! Thank you. Yeah, now, now you tell me. I had no idea what I was looking at. Well, only a very vague idea. Mm, as well as points of interest I may have discovered. Cool. Some landing base. That's why I thought that uh, I wasn't going to be able to land. Oh, did the groundbreaker. Wasn't there like a nav thing I was supposed to get? Or is that for something else? Let's double check. It's only been a day since I've played this game, but I've been really out of it. Um, right, Gladys is a black market fence on the groundbreaker who can give me a nav key to Monarch. Oh yeah, and the holographic shroud. Okay, I gotta go find that. Or yeah. You got a sec? Oh yeah, I got a sec. What do you need? Oops, oops, that is not what I meant to do. Buttons. Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? Mm, what about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. Well, you could go. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. You said that you I could! I bet beans, she could teach me all manner of stuff. They said, yeah, you could keep this boat in good repair. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. We don't talk about him. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. It's true. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, sure. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? I think it's time for you to move a lot. Jeez. Break time's over. Why am I sounding like a dick? Why I gotta be a dick? I want... Oh, this is my room. I keep thinking I can romance these people and I can't. And every now I'm not gonna lie. Every now and then I get a little upset. A board game. This is mine. Oh, for me and my companion. He didn't mention it was for my companions, too. It would give you access to restricted areas provided I have the correct ID cartridge. Okay. Okay. What's this? Ha 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 ha. Hawthorne's sent messages. There's no call for shouting. My terminal's busted. I had a few too many. I knocked it off the desk. You know how they sometimes you just gotta cut loose. I'm not telling you what Wells is, so lay off. Buy me a drink at the Lost Hope next time I am in, and I might forgive you. Uh. Remember this later. No better. Add Ada. Remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continually. No, Ada, not if I'm dead. Why would you even ask me that? 
back to my point, I saw in actuality with my own two eyes a subliminally powerful weapon in Wells' lab, just sitting there for the taking. If the gray hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe, or if I had asked a smidgen more nicely, he called it a shrink ray but wouldn't let me test that claim after I lost my temper. Said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and decency laws. I had heard rumors of a fantastical weapon like this one, weapons that push the boundaries of the mind and science is cutting edge. But I figured they were just stories, to be honest. Or, uh, just stories, to be honest. Laying eyes on Wells' shrink ray firsthand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there's more to the rumors. More to be had. Da -da -da. Hammer power. Last time I got sloshed, I mean, I was imbibing at the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Look, Udom was really through the drinks. He seemed like an okay fellow. I shamelessly but subtly eavesdropped on two Maudet's yammering on about a mad scientist some years back who claimed he'd made a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Like, none of us have ever heard that one before. But here's the good part. The Mardet said that the mad scientist kept yelling about the hammer's power or something similar. A strange weapon with a special power created by a crazy lab coat sure fits the bill. Could be another one of those weapons that inspire wells. Okay. Black market leads. These are all probably good. Although, what was the name? Udon? New? So maybe I, I shouldn't say that I'm this person, cause, uh, Alex, whatever, because um, there are people who know him. Unless I could get a unless I could get a biometric scan of him, that would be interesting. Why, why, why won't Wells just give me the shrink ray to me? Blast into the depths of the labyrinth on Tartarus and back. Let the record show I did apologize for shouting him down five times. But architect be danged, it's just sitting there neglected and gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or uh, breaking expensive equipment when he said he wasn't ready yet. And that even if it were, he couldn't entrust someone like me. What does that even mean? I asked not that I'm trust that I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd use it to wipe off the good, hardworking folks of the colony like some sort of moralist psycho? I'll admit to maintaining some questionable associations, but I follow a strict code of me, myself, and mine. I'm not respecting that. Exactly. Now I just have to wait until Wells forgets or thinks he's misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I have been tracking down additional rumors pertaining to other of these science weapons throughout Halcyon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be checked with the black market merchants and the groundbreaker and in Fallbrook. Okay. Alright, I'm not done. Mm, archived messages. Who's Bedford? Dearest Alex, I can't tell you. Oh, from Udom Wingman's Wingman Bedford to Alex Wingman. Oh, Wingman's Wingman. <laughs> I say Alex Wingman Hawthorne. Uh, your message was hilarious. I'm delighted by your sense of humor and the tale of your hijinks. I hope your terminal will cooperate for the foreseeable future. By the by, I was scraping Groundbreakers comms network for tasty little tidbits, and I noticed you declined to dock at Edgewater's landing pad, and I stepped down in the wilderness. Oh, this is, um... An older or a, the newest one. You rugged individualist, you. I only pray that that idiot Thompson wasn't giving any trouble. Anyway, I hope your meeting down on Terra 2 proves fruitful and I look forward to corresponding, corresponding with greater regularity. Your best friend, Udom. Dear Alex, hello, Udom here. Udom Bedford. We met when I accidentally impounded your ship. My silly fat fingers embarrassing me once again. I hope that wasn't too terribly inconvenient for this person. Is like, look, they're gunning for something for sure. Uh, this guy. It was a pleasure for me. And I tremendously appreciate your forbearance and not throttling me. You really are quite a gentleman. If you're ever in Groundbreaker's airspace, well, space space, please don't hesitate to look me up. The last hope serves Spectrum Vodka. Perhaps you could try every color. You know, really tie one on. Let me know. Your new friend, Udom. I wonder what... I don't know. Either this this guy was like... Uh, either he really likes this Alex guy and thinks he's like super hot. Or um, this Alex guy um, was like on someone's hit list or watch list or something for like whatever he knew maybe about the weapons maybe um also this guy seems to know a, a heck of a lot about him and like where his like tracking his movements and stuff so uh, hello hello hopes this finds you well uh wait what was the yeah from udon bedford to alex hawthorne yeah to Alex Wingman Hawthorne, checking in. Hello, hello, hope this finds you well. It was a pleasure to see you in my office again last week. Once again, I'm terribly sorry about the impounding mix-up. How could it happen a second time? Oh, either either this guy's on a watch list or 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 Udon or Udom really thinks Alex is hot. <laughs> Terminal these days, I swear, are dreadfully unreliable. 
Uh, aha, just like your ship. I hope you've given some thought to that thing we discussed. You know, about the Wells fellow. I'm so sorry to press, but I have the strang strangest tickling feeling that you really do know him. And if you could just tell me where he is, well, it, wouldn't, it would be marvelous for our friendship, wouldn't it? Looking forward to seeing you again, wingman. Yeah, he definitely wants something from him. That's hilarious. Actually hilarious. Um... Well, he wants the Wells location. Alex, I don't know where you were raised, but I'd hazard a guess that it may have been a barn because anyone with even a modicum of decent rearing would know it's unforgivably rude to ignore the ardent, sincere messages of one's friends. Best, Udon, please respond. And then Alex was like, Yo, Joe, chill. I hit my computer really hard. Unread message. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me, I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of well steel. It's not exactly board approved, so don't you go showing it around to your spacer buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely intentional. Winky face! This guy was trying real hard. What? What? So, like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. Okay, Adelaide's the gardener lady. Uh, did she did she give me a plant? Is that is that what she just gave me here? Is that what I have? Oh my gosh! Let's let's go. Do I have to do I have to pick somebody before? I, okay, here we go. I can select up to two companions? Uh, I, I thought I could only have one. Oh yeah. We're gonna have the vicar and Parvati. This is gonna be awkward, because Parvati kind of afraid of the vicar. <laughs> and he's gonna be talking the whole time, and just, you know, if this was real life, and not a video game, where they don't want to overwhelm you. It would be funny, though. I wonder. I wonder what they'll do. Although, I think... Okay, so i got to keep an eye out for companions here. I was warned by a friend that they can be somewhat difficult to find sometimes. So we'll have to make sure we check every back alley. Oh, we're going to a new... Well, not a planet. A new spaceship. <laughs> Except it's gonna... Actually, we're not, turns out. It's just gonna take eight years. Hello? Hello? Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. I don't have any. I only have people. Hey, Captain. Hop in space. <laughs> I never thought I'd be able to say that. She's very excited. I'm very glad. Hey, look at this. I, it's probably stealing. Frag, it's stealing. It's just in a bin. It's in an unlocked bin. My ship is so ugly. <laughs> I love it. It's not like the Normandy, I can tell you that. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Hey, you're a companion, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, the toss ball stick I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You're definitely a companion. You get with me again, you little back bay brat. I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Your armor's cool. And you're a Mardet, which is apparently not a not a species or a planet, but a police force. Hi, you're a companion, I can tell. Going for a stroll around the docking base? You know, like one does. I noticed you were, I don't mind me just inserting myself into everybody's lives. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I don't want you to be on my crew. You're a troublemaker. Oh, uh, what happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Uh-huh, Being a bigger uh -huh. man, I tell myself... His hair is beautiful. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. Oh, So when no. the chosen beat my rangers the other night... My foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a toss. <laughs> yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. 
Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. I mean, if you punched your boss in the face, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, any plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? Mm-hmm. That's me, captain of the, uh, well, if I say I'm the captain of the Unreal, I mean, I am technically, but then people might think of my name is Alex, which it is not. Why do you ask? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. I mean... Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Sorry about that. I think I noticed a very slight screen tear going on. Uh, hopefully it doesn't mess things up too much. But um, I thought I fixed everything yesterday, honestly. But turns out I didn't. I did mess around with some settings, but alas, to no avail. But let us continue on. I was saying uh, that I think I should probably be cautious with names. So I'll say, are you in a hurry to get somewhere? Oh, uh, not at all. Just, uh, you know, gonna figure out what to do next. See you around, boss. Uh, boss, what? Oh, hello. Wow, you guys do not have any concept of personal space whatsoever. Most games I play, like, the character backs up when you're that close. Hello? Steve Door? Yeah, I've done work for Sublight. Need to pay the bill somehow. Have you been beaten up or are you just dirty? I don't know who Sublight is. That's nice. I don't know. Right? He called that guy called me boss. I feel like he's gonna like sneak onto my ship or something. I can't have those. I'm glad there's a friggin' marker. Cause otherwise, I'd... look at all this stuff. People are just laying around, leaving, laying around. Oh my goodness. Oh, Steve Door is a but. So, you learn to keep your eyes to yourself in my job. Nobody wants you looking close at their cargo. You got some nice eyes there. It's it's the name of a, of a worker type person? Yo, what up? What's in here? What you doing? You just making sure I don't go in there and steal stuff? Oh my gosh. Don't mind me. I'm just thoroughly exploring, looking for companions in every corner. I thought Steve Door was a name, and I was like, I respect it. It's whatever. You, yeah, uh, Mardet is not is not your name. Oh, that's a restricted access. Oh, what's in there? What's in there? Stay in the public areas, and we'll get along. What is this? Is count as public? Someone comes up here and drinks uh, a lot on their breaks. Oh, 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 <gasps> what's this? Oh, snap, I found myself into a place I should maybe not be. Look at that. And I get a reward. Is this oil leaking? That seems less than ideal. You gonna make it, you guys? You gonna ride over there? Come on, I'm trying to not fall off the edge. Oh dang, where am I going? I don't even know. I could probably just walk through like a normal person, but here I am. Doing Indiana Jones stuff. Oh, warning, electricity. Don't even do it. No! Don't do it, dog. Officer's spine? The origin and the name of this sword is lost in it. It's a Oh my gosh, it's a sword. Was it named Officer's spine because officers could stand straight knowing they wielded these powerful swords? Or was it that, like, officers use sword vents in noxious fumes? No one knows. Wow, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm taking, I'm taking that. Oh, jeez! Were you like crushed? 
I sent, am I gonna get crushed on the way out? Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, maybe that's it. Unless I could, unless that's a door. Nope, not a door. Don't do it, don't come over here. Oh, jeez! Oh, all right, we're okay, everybody's fine, it's fine. Don't mind me, it's fine. This is not restricted, right? You gonna, you guys gonna make it? Oh, Vicar almost I died. I this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Uh -huh. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. I'm supposed to go there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wasteland. This is it. Security. Shh. I can check the departures. Register. I was listening. I, I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. His name was Graham? Graham, right. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that? Graham? Asshole. Graham. Security. What all, what all up in here? I don't know. Ah, uh, hello, Captain Leonard. Oh, Wheeler. Identification, please. Oh, what? Let's say, hypothetically speaking, I don't have an ID. What happens then? Everybody's got an ID. Oh, let me guess. You, uh, left it in your other pants? <laughs> I hear that one a lot. I'm a newly thawed colonist. Um... Oh, dang. I should... I, I'll be honest, my name is Mar, Mar, it's my first time here. You've got a ship, but you've never visited Groundbreaker. <laughs> you must have just dusted off from one of those dirt side outposts. Sure did. And now we're in space? Yeah, we're in space. Well, welcome to Groundbreaker. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm about to ruin your day. No. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be okay. impounded until such a time I, as they see what? fit to lift it. Hey, hey. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad Not side. Not me. I didn't do it. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udon <gasps> Bedford, our board representative. Oh, here he's with the board. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. If I hadn't talked to you, would this be an issue? Uh, I take it this happens a lot? Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations here. Surely this must be some sort of mix-up. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets, then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why, you probably riled up the wrong petty board Oh, bureaucrat, no. man named Udom Bedford. He's the one I have to talk to, though? Uh, uh this has to be a mistake. Not gonna lie, you're in a pickle. But uh, Udom's an uh, interesting guy. Uh huh. Might be y'all could come to accords if you play your cards right. If I huh. flirt? Records show this ain't the first time your ship's been impounded. Seems to get cleared up pretty quick. Oh, you that's right. No, that's right, long. that's right, that's right. I remember oh, and now. if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Uh, when I was reading the email, I thought, this was, I thought this was for something separate pertaining to me, but it's pertaining... It just must happen every time uh, Alex came in that his ship automatically gets impounded. Like, Udon just, like, has that happen so that Alex has to come talk to him. Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Why are you telling, why are you telling me this? Your shipment? Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Men. <clears throat> Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, can you tell me? Uh, it seems like there was some tension between the board and Groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? I'm sharp like that. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us. And we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. <gasps> Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom. But really, 
They know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. But then you guys won't get money either. Uh, I'm glad it terrifies them the bastards. Keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel our freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. Yeah, I'm being a bit radical. Hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. That's not likely to happen. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk. What no is, how, do, how does he know that? Mm -hmm. We may do all right. So far, anyway. Vicar. Vicar. Um, board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. That's why they talk Aside like normal us, people. There's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing base. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sure thing. Uh, can you tell me about Udom? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Okay. In the sense he doesn't care for groundbreaking I'll much. try to be careful. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Sure thing. Mm. Looking for someone named Gladys. I, may, I maybe shouldn't ask that, I don't know. The fence. You'll find the her fence? in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar Straight on the starboard side. through security? I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. See, these are all things that I know now because I read that those emails about the Lost Hope and everything. And Udom. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Isn't it the only one? Well, the only floating one. Can I find a job? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. Sublight. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Oh, ho, ho. Um, I didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich. But they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. Nice, okay. Mm. How does Halcyon Holdings work anyway? We're getting we're getting in at the thick of things. Are you pulling my leg? Uh I just want to hear your take on it. Goes like this. <laughs> Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. Uh-huh. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this year colony. That group's what we now call the board. Um, so there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these company heads in it? Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, uh -huh. yeah probably. Uh -huh. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. How does the Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. That's right, we a read that. A few years before her sister ship, the Hope. <gasps> Once everybody had been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. So they got dropped dirt side and were like, nah, man, we out. Glad to help. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They stripped the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage mm. folks to abandon their steads. Oh my gosh. Sublight gives me the creeps. Uh-huh. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. But the promenade's where everything is. A little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Oh, Bad I folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. See, that guy, he Chief was... Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. Oh, I need to talk to no her. No kidding? I'd love to get a look at this old girl's innards. I bet they're real twisty and weird. In a good way. <laughs> uh, 
not about something long term. If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. Uh-huh. All right, thanks. All right. Bye. Be seeing you. Okay, well, I don't even really know how I got into here, but here we are doing our thing. There's a workbench here that's nice. And what he was saying... And he, no, this is... Map. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Uh, I guess we're not going to show me where the little points are on the map. Because I, I don't know which one's which. Right. Well, I guess right now I've got... Speak to Udom or speak to Gladys. And then he was saying something about this which is I think it was the quest that was like you have to go into a restricted area apparently to get through anywhere you gotta go through security is that okay but what you can't I can't go through security that's not something I can do is this a thing I can do hello oh maybe I can go no I can't I can't go in there and talk to them because it's restricted hello hello <laughs> Would I have to go through the other side, maybe? Through the proper way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to go in the proper way. Vending machine. Nice. I need to go in the real person way. Which is... Is it not? Well, am I... Oh, maybe not. Maybe I don't know anything. This is the way in. Hello. Yeah, okay, okay. How does anybody get anywhere? Am I allowed to go in here? Promenade? I assume that's when you made the promenade. Anyway, I should probably go. I should probably call, it, call this episode here. But thank you all so much for watching. We have a whole new place to explore. So uh, I hope to see you in the next one.